Hey there, how are you today? This is Vanessa Duberle and welcome to my channel, Affiliate Marketing Mastery, where you can learn to earn a passive income guilt-free. And today we're going to set up an Amazon Associates account so you can start earning commissions from products from Amazon. Amazon has billions of viewers, so it's actually a good place to start in the sense that you already have a huge audience. You still have to go in and select the products that you want to promote. But one of the things I do like about Amazon is if somebody clicks a link, let's say that you're promoting a set of dumbbells and telling people how awesome they are, or maybe a yoga mat or something like that, and they go in and click it. Well, they decide they don't want the mat that you were suggesting, but they would prefer a different one. You still earn a percentage off the other items that that person purchases because you're the one that drove them to the site. So that's what's cool about Amazon. Now, the not so cool thing is most of the time your affiliate commission is roughly 7 to 15%. It's not high, but with volume and with such a huge platform you can make up for it with volume so when you go to amazon associates you want to go up here where it says join now for free and i'm going to go in and sign up and get us onto the platform now i filled in the first part um, I'm not going to actually do all the parts live because you don't need to sit here and watch me type. But the first part is putting in your uh, email account, your password, and then they verify it going to that account. So everything's been verified. I'm ready to set up. And you can see here are all the steps. They need account information, website and mobile app list, your profile, identity verification, and then you can start using Associate Central. So I'm going to go through each of these steps. The first step is the account information and if you're doing it with me as we go along just pause the video do it yourself and then unpause it and that way you can make sure you go in and you have everything done so we're going to pause again and i'll fill this out and once it's filled out we'll go to the next step All right, on the next step, they want to know what website or mobile app are you going to be promoting the business? Amazon is pretty um, picky about where you promote the products. They don't want you to go onto Facebook and start putting links in all your posts and getting all your friends to buy things. If you do that, they actually will not honor them. So don't think that that's what you're going to be doing. You have to have some kind of a storefront or a web page to promote your products and what you do is you draw your traffic to click your link so a lot of times when you see people promoting a blog and they say hey you know here are 10 steps to do you know to get healthier um, people will hit that link and take them to the blog and then in the blog is where you have your affiliate links where you might say you know it's really here are 10 steps to be healthy one of them is drinking water and this is my favorite water bottle and then that water bottle has a link going to your amazon affiliate product um, so that's where you have to think outside the box but typically they will not, like I said, let you go right to Facebook. Uh, Pinterest is the same way. If you want to promote something on print, Pinterest as far as running an ad, you have to be directing people to a website. You cannot direct them directly to an affiliate link. Now, if you post on Pinterest, just you know, post an item and then put a link and not run an ad, then you can run affiliate links that way. So just a little um, thing there. So enter your website. And if you don't have one, there is a link below where you can go to Bluehost and they have um, where you can build a website there. And there's also ClickFunnels where you can do a home page and have a place to have a quote URL website link. So both of those links are below. Those are two different platforms that you can use to have your storefront, if that makes sense. Okay. All right, let's pause it and I'll do this step and we'll be back in a moment. Now, once you put your website in, it also allows you to add a Twitter account or a Facebook fan page, which is business page, basically, that have enough followers. So if you've got three or 4,000 followers and you want to add those as well as your website, that will work as well. Um, they do want to know what is your website about? 
Like what, what are you all about? What are the following t topics that basically describes you and what are the types of things are you, are you going to be putting on there? So fill out the next step again, fill it out, come back and we'll go on from there. Okay, that page took some time. Um, up at the top where it had asked you to put your name or some way to verify your account, I just put my name in. Um, basically, fill that out the best you can. Um, don't, don't feel overwhelmed um, because there's so many questions and you're not sure and you're just starting out. You can start out your website while you're doing affiliate marketing um, with Amazon. And let's say um, there is a clause in there that if you go 180 days and you don't create three good sales um, to show them that you're serious, they will shut down your account, but you can open it up again. It's not like they don't let you. I think they just do that because a lot of people will open accounts and then they don't do anything with them and then you have all these accounts. So it's pretty much if you don't lose it, you lose it. Um, so don't worry about that. You did have to do your identity verification, um, give them your phone number and they will call you back and then check here that you agree to their procedures and then you finish and you should start to you should be able to start using your account now once we're in there yeah see i have vanessa de Berlay. they just changed it actually to dash 20. so you want to write that down someplace and down there like i said it says you have to qualify within 180 days and that's six months guys so basically um you should be able to do that with no problem now now we have to stop again because you have to enter your payment and tax information so that they know how to pay you and they can turn it into the IRS. And hopefully you have lots of money to turn in, right? All right, so let's pause again and get that finished. Okay, so what you just did is you finished filling out the form and you probably had to go in and fill out your tax information. So hopefully you took the time to do that. Um, I did. I've got it all set up, ready to go. Um, you had to set up your payment method, whether or not you wanted um, Amazon to pay you with gift cards or put money directly into an account or to send you a check. So just fill it all out now so it's done because when you start making money, you don't want to have to go back and do it later. Now, this is what the screen looks like once you are an affiliate with Amazon. So now I have signed up. I'm an affiliate. What do I do to get an affiliate product link? You go right up here where it says product links. Again, you can sell anything on Amazon, everything you can get a commission for. Okay. So I'm going to do a product search. Let's do, um, yoga mats. So it says search yoga mats. You can, um, any books that you've read and that you'd like to promote 34,000 different yoga mats, but you can go in, pick the one that you like the most. You can see all these different prices. And then I'm just going to go with this purple one here, 1868. And right here it says, get the link. Now, where you have get the link, you're going to have a text and image link. You're going to have a text only link. See that? If you need to embed it someplace, and you also have a link for image only. Now, typically, if you take this um, text and you put it somewhere, that image will pop up, okay? And they want you to use these images. So somebody would, um, the link would be behind the image and they would click it and there it is. So you can choose either one of these links. It's that easy and just find a place to store your links. So if you have different products that you were um, promoting, maybe you can open up an Excel sheet and put it in Google drive and put those links there so that you know where they're at. You could also use OneNote and put your links in there, but find a place to put your links. Once you grab this link and if you put it on your website, then you, and you need to use it again, you, you don't want to have to go through all your blogs looking for it. You want to put it someplace so you can get to it easily. And that's basically 
how you set up your Amazon Associates account. Now we just did that today in less than 15 minutes. I know the video is not 15 minutes long, but each time I paused, it wasn't for that long. I just sat here and I finished it and I got it done. And now I can go back in and I can look for different products that I wanna promote. And honestly, in the beginning, be diligent about it. Make sure you get those sales so that they don't shut down your account. Cause you don't wanna do all that work and then after 180 days, have it shut down because you don't have any sales and you just need three sales, three, um, sales that they consider legit. So don't go have a friend buy it. Please don't do that. They know they will not give you the credit, put it on your website or put it on your Twitter account or whatever account that you put down. And it has to be sold through that account. So you're going to drive your traffic to your Twitter post or to your Facebook page or to your web page. And like I said below, you have a Bluehost web design uh, a link below. If you want to start a web page, you can look at that. And there's also a click funnels account. If you want to start a funnel, both of them, you can start a home page where you can start your business. Remember the web page or the funnel home page is like your storefront. Um, Amazon wants you to have a store kind of quote <laughs> that you're selling from. And that just makes sense. All right. That is it for today. And give me a thumbs up if this was helpful. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next video.